That is the first emperor's tomb. And it's at the center of what is thought to be the largest burial complex in the world. For more than 2,000 years, the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, has remained sealed in silence. It has never been opened, touched, or disturbed. This underground chamber, hidden beneath layers of earth in Shanxi province, holds one of the world's most fascinating mysteries. The emperor who unified China and left behind the terracotta army still lies inside, surrounded by stories, legends, and speculation. For centuries, people could only imagine what might be hidden in that tomb. Ancient records spoke of rivers of mercury, deadly traps, and entire underground palaces filled with treasures. Historians believed the tomb might contain not only artifacts, but also answers to questions about the man who built an empire. While the main chamber has remained sealed, scientists have been able to study the areas surrounding it. Using modern technology, they analyzed soil, artifacts, and human remains buried near the terracotta warriors. These findings have recently uncovered something shocking. By examining ancient DNA, researchers found information that challenges long-held beliefs about Qin Shi Huang's background. What they discovered could change the way people understand Chinese history. The results suggested that the emperor's ancestry may not have been as straightforward as textbooks once taught. Instead of being purely Han Chinese, the DNA points to a more complex heritage, possibly involving nomadic tribes or Central Asian influences. This new evidence has sparked debates among historians, raising questions about the emperor's true identity. Could the very man who united China have been of mixed origin? If so, what does that mean for how history remembers him when scientists first collected soil, bones, and other remains from the area around the terracotta army? Their goal was to learn more about the people who lived during Qin Shi Huang's reign. They used advanced DNA analysis, a method that can uncover ancestry and genetic traits even from samples thousands of years old. What they found surprised everyone. Instead of showing a clear link to the Han Chinese, the DNA revealed mixed origins. Some genetic markers pointed to Central Asia, while others hinted at nomadic groups that once roamed the northern regions. This evidence suggested that the emperor might not have been from a single pure bloodline, but from a background that blended different ethnicities. For many, this was difficult to accept because Qin Shi Huang has always been seen as a symbol of Chinese unity and power. His rule was the foundation of a strong centralized empire, and his image represented national pride. If his DNA tells a different story, it means that China's origins may be more diverse than previously believed. This discovery forces historians to rethink early Chinese history, showing it as more connected with surrounding cultures. The implications go beyond the emperor himself. If Qin Shi Huang had a mixed heritage, then Chinese rulers may not have been as isolated or pure as once thought. History may need to be rewritten to include the possibility of cultural blending. Schools, museums, and textbooks could eventually reflect this broader, more complex picture of China's past. While some see this as a challenge to national history, others believe it makes the story richer, showing that the empire was built on diversity and exchange. The possibility of learning more about Qin Shi Huang through DNA has opened an entirely new chapter in history. Scientists believe that one of the most fascinating discoveries may not come from the famous terracotta warriors or the treasures buried around the tomb, but from something invisible to the naked eye, his genetic code. DNA is like a tiny instruction manual found in every living thing, containing information about appearance, health, and ancestry. If researchers could one day examine Qin Shi Huang's actual remains, they might uncover details that have remained hidden for more than 2,000 years. They could learn what illnesses he may have suffered from, whether he was as strong and healthy as legends claim, or whether he carried genetic weaknesses. They might discover his natural height, eye color, and even traits linked to his personality. These findings could change how people imagine the emperor, making him feel more like a real person rather than a distant legend. The problem, of course, is that the main burial chamber remains sealed. Chinese authorities have chosen not to open it. 
fearing that exposure to air, light, and moisture could damage the fragile treasures inside. Archaeologists have seen how quickly the painted colors on the terracotta warriors disappeared once they were unearthed. If the same happened to silk, wood, or paper artifacts inside the tomb, irreplaceable history could be lost forever. Because of this, scientists are exploring new ways of studying the tomb without opening it. They are developing advanced tools, such as tiny robotic arms and flexible devices that could slip through microscopic cracks. Collecting small samples of dust, air, or organic matter, even the smallest particle could contain DNA, allowing researchers to analyze it without disturbing the tomb. This careful approach reflects both the power of modern science and the deep respect for preserving cultural heritage. Although this remains only a possibility for now, it has captured the imagination of researchers around the world. The idea that Qin Shi Huang's secrets could be unlocked without ever opening his tomb shows how science is slowly bridging the gap between the past and the present, the hidden tomb and its endless mysteries. The tomb of Qin Shi Huang is unlike any other burial site in the world. Located in Shanxi province, it stretches across nearly 38 square miles, almost the size of a modern city. Built like an underground kingdom, it contains not just the emperor's body, but also thousands of statues, treasures, and symbols of power. When he was only 13 years old and had just become king of the Qin state, Qin Shi Huang began building his tomb. This lifelong project grew into a massive effort involving hundreds of thousands of workers, craftsmen, and artists. Inside this underground world, they created life-sized clay soldiers. Known today as the Terracotta Army, each warrior was unique, with different facial features, hairstyles, and expressions. Alongside them stood clay horses, bronze chariots, musicians, dancers, and entertainers all made to protect and serve the emperor in the afterlife. Historical records describe even more astonishing details. Ancient historian Sy McKeon wrote that rivers of mercury were built to represent flowing water, that the ceiling of the tomb was painted with stars to resemble the night sky, and that mechanical traps like crossbows were hidden to kill anyone who tried to enter. For centuries, these accounts sounded like myths, but modern science has found signs that they may be true. Soil tests around the tomb have revealed unusually high levels of mercury, suggesting that these rivers may actually exist. Ground-penetrating radar has also detected empty spaces that match the size of chambers and tunnels. Some of these voids might contain liquid or metal, strengthening the belief that the tomb holds treasures beyond imagination. And yet, despite all of this, the central chamber remains unopened. The fear of damaging fragile artifacts and the dangerous presence of mercury have kept it sealed. To this day, the tomb stands as a silent monument to Qin Shi Huang's desire for immortality. Its mysteries, protected for over two millennia, continue to puzzle historians, archaeologists, and scientists. Alike, each discovery around the site, whether a clay entertainer, a workshop, or a drainage system only deepens the fascination with what still lies hidden underground. The Emperor's dream of immortality Qin, Shi Huang, was not just concerned. About his rule in life, he also dreamed of controlling what would happen after his death. He wanted to live forever, not just through memory, but physically and spiritually. Ancient records tell us that he sent men to search for magical elixirs of life traveling to faraway lands and seas in hopes of finding immortality. He consumed strange potions, some of which contained mercury, ironically, a poison that may have shortened his life instead of extending it. His obsession with eternity is also reflected in the construction of his tomb. Every part of it seems designed to preserve his power in the afterlife. The underground city included not just soldiers, but also entertainers animals, and symbols of wealth. Even the natural environment around the tomb was carefully planned. Archaeologists have discovered traces of plants that were not native to the region, suggesting that special gardens were created to surround the emperor in both life and death. A complex drainage system was built beneath the mound, protecting it from floods for over 2,000 years. 
This level of detail shows how much effort was placed into ensuring the tomb's survival. For Qin Shi Huang, death was not an end, but a continuation of his rule in another world. This dream of immortality connects him to other powerful rulers across history. Egyptian pharaohs were buried with treasures and ships to carry them to the afterlife. Mayan kings were laid to rest in pyramids filled with offerings. Viking leaders were buried with their weapons, horses, and ships. Yet Qin Shi Huang's tomb stands out as the largest and most complex of all. It was not just a grave, it was an empire underground. His dream was to live forever, to be remembered for eternity. And in a way, he succeeded. More than 2,000 years later, his tomb remains one of the greatest wonders of the ancient world. Still inspiring awe, curiosity, and mystery. Scandals and secrets behind the throne while Qin, Shi Huang's achievements, are celebrated, his rise to power was surrounded by whispers of scandal and secrecy. Some historians believe he may not have been the rightful son of King Zhuangsheng of Qin, the ruler officially recorded as his father. Instead, there are rumors that his true father may have been El Bue, a wealthy merchant who later became a powerful minister in the Qin court. El Bue was close to the emperor's mother, and some historical records suggest that their relationship may have led to Qin Shu Hong's birth. If true, this would mean that the emperor's claim to the throne was not as legitimate as history has taught. These rumors of questionable parentage add to the mystery surrounding his DNA. Perhaps the genetic evidence of mixed ancestry connects to this story, suggesting a more complex family background than the official records admit. Beyond his birth, the emperor's court was filled with intrigue, betrayal, and power struggles. Ministers plotted against one another, rival families tried to weaken his rule, and secrets circulated through the palace halls. Qin Shi Huang himself grew up in this environment of mistrust, which shaped him into a suspicious and often ruthless ruler. He trusted few people, relied heavily on secrecy, and punished those who opposed him. His harsh methods may have helped him unify China, but they also left behind a legacy of fear. Historians continue to piece together these stories, examining old records, artifacts, and now even DNA, to understand the truth behind his rise to power. Whether or not the scandals about his birth are true, they show how even the most powerful rulers are surrounded by human drama. Qin Shi Huang may have built an empire and dreamed of immortality, but his life was still touched by the same struggles for power, love, and legitimacy that shaped many rulers throughout history, waiting for the final discovery today. The tomb of Qin Shi Huang remains one of the most famous unopened archaeological sites in the world. While scientists have uncovered incredible details about the surrounding area, the central chamber remains untouched, holding its secrets in silence. For now, researchers must rely on indirect evidence, soil tests, radar scans, and the study of nearby remains. The discovery of mixed DNA has already reshaped how we see China's first emperor, but many believe this is only the beginning. If one day scientists are allowed to study his actual remains, the findings could completely change what we know about early Chinese history. The challenge is balancing curiosity with preservation. Opening the tomb too soon could destroy the very artifacts that make it valuable. Waiting too long, however, means that important discoveries remain hidden from the world. For now, Chinese officials have chosen caution, protecting the site until technology is advanced enough to guarantee that everything inside can be preserved. This decision reflects both respect for history and recognition of the tomb's fragile nature. The story of Qin Shi Huang is far from finished. Each new discovery, whether through DNA, archaeology, or historical study, adds another layer to his legacy.